All right, guys, here we are. You're gonna have to bear with me a little bit because the snow's a bit deep over here. So a couple of trees in the front yard. They look to be pretty well maintained, actually. Uh, a couple of limbs over there. But in general, and I'm not an arborist, they don't look too heavy. Little branch here. You can see it's an older person's house just by the ramp. There's a nice big limb off your neighbor's door, a uh, door, neighbor's tree. Here's the snow we're making through. I know you guys are used to this in Massachusetts, but this has been probably the biggest snowfall I've seen since I've been here. All right, boom. Here's a view from the street. Got a little bit of a mountain view just over there. Okay, I'm looking at the, uh, the siding as best as I can. You know, needs, certainly needs some, uh, some paint here pretty soon. But looks reasonably well taken care of. Windows could be, yeah, I think the windows have been replaced at some point. Okay, I guess I bear with me a little bit. Just putting the code in. Let me make sure that's not on camera. Okay. All right, we are in. Has that slightly older person? Stale smell, just getting my shoes off. Um, okay, that said, carpet looks to be in pretty good condition. I'd say this is definitely newer carpet. There's a view of the front door. Let's check out those windows. I mean, not new, but certainly not original. All right, let's go see the kitchen. So dining room, carpet in the dining room is nobody's favorite, but it, it's quite nice carpet. It really is. There's the stairs to the basement. Galley kitchen. Older refrigerator. Oh, so it's been, been cleared out. That's good. Now all the cabinets. In reasonable condition. It's again reasonably well taken care of. Maybe one drawer there needs some help. Looking under the sink always tells you how well a home's been taken care of. Okay. Not too much damage there. Under the sink. This is your laundry. A little bit of a, a drop here to go to the laundry, but nothing too bad. Not that I'm a structural engineer. So washer and dryer would go here. And then you've got room for some cabinetry. Let's take a 
take a peek in the garage. Just a little bit of damage to the trim there. Oh wow, I've got an old, old Pontiac, I think. So two car garage, which is really nice. Tools. Just stuff. I see people fix these up and make awesome bars out of them. Liquor cabinets. Okay, how do we look outside? Well, oh my gosh. Let me see what I can show you here. I mean, reasonable size backyards. You can certainly see your neighbors' homes. Some kind of ramp there. We'd have to look on old photographs. I mean, there's a good two and a half feet of snow out there. Just a little coat closet, a little pantry. Go check out the bedrooms. Okay. All right, wood floors. Which makes me think there's probably some wood floors underneath the carpet. That'd be nice. Again, a newer, newer window there. Little linen closet. Here's your bathroom. You're used to seeing those diagonal style mirrors. Oh my gosh, look at that old towel bar. No fan in here. Next bedroom. And then we should the floor there. You know, we've seen similar floor plans. And then this will be the larger of the bedrooms. Now I'm just checking the windows to make sure they've been replaced. Wood floors in here, of course. All right. So I feel like we've seen this floor plan. I'm trying to think which one it was. Took a peek in the basement. So, you know, essentially right now, this would be what, a, a 385 house and then 390, 395. And then we go ahead and add on the basement. So you can see where they're getting the pricing from. Okay, cool old ceilings. Let's try and get some lights on. Carpet down here. It's you know, a little stained. They do have a larger window here. I wouldn't call that an egress. A bit cobwebby. There's some gunk in the corner there. I can't quite tell what that is. Uh, 
you know, just your typical old aluminum windows. Nice big space down here though. Show you from this angle. There's a light switch, there we go. So bedroom back here. Again, a larger window here, not necessarily an egress, but definitely a larger window. Smaller aluminum window there. Same carpet. You know, it doesn't smell odd or anything down here. Is a second bathroom. Okay, some rubber duckies for you. And it just, I mean, it's old, it doesn't look terrible. through to the utility area. And I find the light switch it's on the outside. Oh, it's there. Okay. So, an Amana furnace. fairly new. Uh, Amana's not anybody's favorite brand, but it's fairly new. It looks like here, you know, they've really looked after that furnace. 2009, when they were keeping track of the filter changes. There's a humidifier there. Looks like more hookups for a washer and dryer. 2007 on your hot water heater, so that's not ideal. And down. Little storage under the stairs. Some sort of makeshift built in shelves here. You can see there's been some plumbing switch outs, it's newer plumbing. A little bit of a crack from the window there, but I would hasten, well, I don't, I don't think an inspector would have too much concern about that. They're coming from the corners of the windows, which is not uncommon in a house of this age. A couple of the little hairline cracks. don't see any radon mitigation, which if they were an older couple, not surprising. That wiring. Yeah. We can find the electrical panel. Get under the stairs. Not too bad. Turn these lights off as I leave. You know, I mean, the furniture's just kind of throwaway furniture at this point. Get these 
lights off. Is it beautifully maintained? No, but is it given the condition and the age? Not, not too bad. All right, let's try and find that electrical panel. So the old listing says that it has AC. Is that panel here? Might, there it is. Okay. It's a GE panel. It's probably only 100 amps, but... GE's got a pretty good reputation. Man. So I can't really go out here. But some kind of broken little covered area. Sorry guys, you can't see that, can you? All right. So, you know, needs a little cosmetic TLC from what I can see, but other than that, pretty good shape. Typical little crack there. We've covered over it, where you see the, the gap between the two walls. I see that all the time. Feels nice and warm in here. I'm trying to see if maybe there's an vent. Here we go. Let's see if you can see any hardwoods. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay guys, I'll sign off from here and I'll get this up for you ASAP.